as per usual. Let's check out the High Growth Handbook and today's topic brought to you by Elad Gill. He's talking to Andreessen Howitz. Uh, not Andreessen Howitz. He's talking to he's talking to Mark Andreessen, one of the guys who built Andreessen Howitz. And this today's topic is something that is close to my heart. Quote, a common trigger of founder burnout is finding yourself working on things you hate by Elad Gill. One of the mistakes I've made in my first two and a half years as CEO of Color Genomics, this is uh, Mark Andreessen talking, was that my vacations often were not real vacations. A CEO's energy level dictates those of the team. You should find time to take vacations and truly be offline. Otherwise, you'll lose energy, burn out, and potentially give up. You know why this speaks so strongly to my heart? Because I am the master of getting burned out. And my perspective on burnout is not going to be one that anyone should emulate. I don't ever worry about burnout. It just happens. And does it take me a week, sometimes a couple weeks to come out of that funk and kind of re rejuvenate and renew myself so that I can get back to 16, 20 hour days? Absolutely. That's just the nature of the beast. And so while I have read copious amounts of books, guides, ideas, methods, frameworks, rubrics of how to not get burned out, I say all of that is horse shite. If you are an operator, if you are an entrepreneur, and you have a dream that you are trying to build, guess what? No one's going to build that dream for you. No one's going to work as hard as you to build that dream. Frankly, there's no one in the world that's going to lift their finger to say, you know what? I'd like to work exceptionally hard to build your goals. Never happened. Said nobody ever. And so, if you want to achieve that which you want to achieve, you must work harder than everyone else. You must work 14, 16, 20 hour days to get there. Will that end up creating an unsustainable pace where you'll eventually get burned out? Welcome. Welcome to the fray. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, Mark Andreessen says this, a CEO's energy levels dictate those of the team. You better believe it. That's why you as the operator, as the idea generator, the person who has this idea is leading this team as a first time manager, maybe as first time operator, first time entrepreneur, you dictate the levels of the team, which means you will work 14, 16, 20 hours a day and emulate and model that so that everyone else in your company can work Likewise, now they're not going to match your energy levels. They're not going to match your 14, 16, 20 hours a day because they're building your dream. And but you want to emulate that. Some people would say, Oh, Peter, you're creating a culture of of unsustainable pace. <laughs> Welcome to startups, baby. You have investment, let's say it's a million dollars, that million dollars is burning down every day, you have limited time, which means you need to work your butt off. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I find that all of the, the ideas around trying to not get burned out, useless platitudes, if you're trying to build something, you have what, 76, 77, 79 years of life? <laughs> Better get to it, my friends.